Air pollution in New York City is a significant environmental threat which contributes to an estimated 6% of annual deaths. Improving the city's air quality is a difficult task because there are so many types of air pollutants that come from millions of sources inside and outside city borders. I was born in Long Island, New York. Whenever I visited New York City in the summertime, I always coughed so much. I was so young, I didn't realize why I was coughing. Now I know, because of air pollution. According to this graph, in 1999, air pollution was a very big problem. The city's air pollution is at its lowest levels now, but there's still significant room for improvement. Vehicles are the largest sources of air pollution in New York City. Vehicles, including public transportation, account for a large amount of soot, smog, and greenhouse gases that are in the air. Each of these cause major environmental and personal problems, including respiratory distress, circulatory problems, and global warming. An article from DEC said the pollutants and vehicle emissions are known to damage lung tissue and lead to and aggravate respiratory diseases such as asthma. Motor vehicle pollution also contributes to the formation of acid rain and adds to the greenhouse gases that cause climate change. Another source of air pollution in New York City is power plants. Power plants are a large source of pollution. Emissions from the power plants are continually increasing each year due to the increased demand for power. Some of the environmental problems that are commonly caused by electric plants include ground level ozone, particle matter in the air, acid rain, global warming, and increased mercury levels. These side effects of pollution can cause many different health problems, including increased asthma diagnosis, lung damage, nervous system disorders, and more. It is very hard on the animals, plant life, and trees as well, which causes the cycle of damage to increase. An article from DEC states that ozone damages crops and forest structures and human health. In the environment, this reactive gas can attack surfaces, fabrics, and rubber materials, and is toxic to some crops, vegetation, and trees. When the air is highly polluted with ozone, some people experience smarting eyes and irritated air passages. As ozone levels increase, the severity of the effects increases, and more people become affected. Ozone can cause a variety of respiratory problems, including coughing, shortness of breath, decreased lung function, increased sustainability to respiratory infection. Asthma and other respiratory alignments may worsen, and victims can develop severe respiratory problems. Now, solutions. How to reduce ozone pollution. One, state and federal controls on vehicle exhaust, along with programs requiring inspection and maintenance of vehicle emission control devices, reduce emission of nitrogen oxides. Two, use of low velocity fuels during the warm months reduces hydrocarbon vapors in the air. Three, drivers can prefer low emission vehicles, limit their driving, and refuel with care to avoid spillage. Three, homeowners can use water-based means to store and handle gasoline and other solvents carefully. How to reduce vehicle pollution. Proper maintenance of car and truck emission control systems not only limits harmful emissions, but also can improve fuel efficiency and vehicle performance, extending the life of a vehicle. New York's Motor Vehicle Inspection and Maintenance IM programs are administrated by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation and Motor Vehicles. IM programs require annual emissions inspections and, when necessary, require repair of faulty emission systems. The New York Vehicle Inspection Program is an important component of the New York State's plan to meet the National Ambient Air Quality Standard for Ozone. Play NYC, launched by Mayor Michael Bloomberg in 2007. The initiative includes an array of goals for improving air quality, emissions, and other environmental factors by 2030, and has already enjoyed some significant success. 29 green building laws have been passed since 2010. Greenhouse gas emissions are down 12% since 2005. And seven other things to keep in mind. One, reduce the number of miles traveled by combining trips, carpooling, using public transportation, and telecommuting. Two, drive at steady, moderate speeds. Three, avoid overfilling or topping off the vehicle's gas tank. Four, make sure the gasoline cap fits properly. Five, make sure tires are properly inflated. Six, replace oil and filters at manufactured recommended intervals. Seven, watch the color of tailpipe emissions. Black smoke means too much gasoline in the fuel mixture. Blue smoke indicates too much oil is being burned. What I learned is much is being done to decrease the problem of air pollution in New York City. By increasing the availability of information, it makes 
people more adaptable to make changes in their lives. These will understand more about the effects of air pollution on their health and the environment. Air pollution in New York City is a very big problem. Millions of New Yorkers have asthma, and at least a million more children will be diagnosed with it this year. We are inhaling dirty and unhealthy air. Changes need to be made to keep this city healthy for future generations.